Good morning, this is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is the daily forecast for all signs. It is created originally for August 12th, which would be um, Friday. It is not solely set for that date, though. If you're seeing a date different than August 12th, if it just has shown up in your feed randomly or you found your way to this video and you're watching it, the message may still apply to something going on in your life. And if it certainly does, if what I say fits um, and you feel connected to it, by all means, utilize it uh, to the best of your ability. If it doesn't connect or doesn't seem to fit, that's okay. It doesn't mean anything's wrong or broken. You're still on your life path. Everything's okay. It's just um, maybe not your reading, right? So um, keep that in mind. Uh, if you're new, please check out the drop down menu underneath the reading. Um, in there is just housekeeping rules, things I want you to think about, what decks I'm using, how to support the channel, where to follow me on social media, how to book a private reading, all that stuff is in there. Um, great ways of supporting the channel, very simply, are hitting that thumbs up button, subscribing and hitting the notification bell, sharing the video out with your friends or on your social media feeds or in groups where it would be you know, accepted and, and best utilized, and then um, also leaving me a question or comment. On the video, I greatly appreciate that. It's perfect for you when you're watching. So, um, all of that stuff helps the channel. Now, let's get into this and see what's going on with the card of the day. You will hear me reference cards from the Sunday reading that won't be present in this video. That populates at the lower left hand corner uh, of the video at the end of the video, and you can always watch that there to understand what was underpinning this week, what was kind of going on for us this week. And remember, it's collective, so you have to figure out if and where it applies in your life. So our card, oh my god, it's the same card as yesterday. The Nine of Cups, am I wrong about that? Let me just double check. No, we had the Nine of Cups two days ago, but we've seen the Nine of Cups three times this week, guys. Um, this is the third time she's out. Again, I'm going to go back to this. The Nine of Cups is kind of like the, you know, the wish card. It's sort of like everything's lined up. We feel emotionally secure. We feel good to go, ready to move forward into the future. Um, feeling emotionally sound, complete, whole, uh, even abundant. You know, this, this, um, this, uh, what's it called? My brain is fried. Sorry, it's early. This bouquet of roses that she's holding signifies to me, like, abundance and, um, even maybe a little bit of opulence, and she's sharing that with us this morning. Today, even though I've seen this card three times this week, today she feels very happy. <laughs> I don't know if that has to do with the full moon that just passed, or the Lionsgate portal. I will say this, there is something going on with Venus, that just, Venus just, I think, went into Leo, and so that's supposed to be also a very powerful transit, and that might be why we are feeling this emotionally sound, available, safe, secure, feeling and why we're seeing this Nine of Cups throughout this week. There has been this opportunity, I think, for us to settle into new ways of being, certainly emotionally, because the, in the Sunday reading, the midweek card we have is the Ace of Cups, and that's always about new beginnings, but also emotional sort of um, abundance and overflow, right? It can't be about love. But to me, seeing the Nine of Cups three times this week, this is about sort of self-love and understanding first and foremost, and then taking that out into the world and sharing that or showing that through maybe our actions or how we speak or the way we treat ourselves. We actually maybe show others a different way and how to treat themselves. Does that make sense? The cards this week have felt very solitary, I think. If I remember correctly, everything's had like a single individual. I haven't seen anything with more than one person on the card, now that I think about it. Like the Five of Swords yesterday. Was it the Five of Swords we had? Yes. Five of Swords yesterday was a singular woman. Then we had the Nine of Cups, which was a singular woman. Two of Swords was a singular woman. The Nine of Cups again was a singular woman. It's like shown up every other day, this card. Um, so to me, what that signifies or says to me is that the work this week has been on ourselves, certainly emotionally, shifting and changing our perceptions. And from doing the emotional work or from reaching the completions with situations or people or, or environments, whatever we're dealing with, um, when we reach that sort of emotional understanding, we also are able to better clear our thoughts and get a clearer perspective on our... Um, 
our beliefs around a situation or the way we perceive a situation. Does that make sense? And then we're leading this into, this is the end of the week, right? We're at Friday. So we're leading into that Nine of Wands. And Nine of Wands, Wands is about the spirit. That's the underpinning energy of this, right? So the Nine of Wands is about taking harder lessons or things that we've learned from the past and putting them to good use, right? Becoming smarter and wiser through the adversity that we've maybe faced. And I think that what these cards are trying to sh show us is that we have the opportunity to become whole again, to choose that, to go after that, to clear our thoughts, to clear our hearts, to clear our minds, and to become whole, to learn from, from to learn from the things that have challenged us. And like yesterday's um, shamanic medicine card was that emergence, right? Which was that beautiful acorn uh, connected to the stars above, growing out of itself, right? Growing into the giant, strong, beautiful, you know, lush tree that it is. And I feel like these cards are telling us that we too can do that, or we are in the process of doing that. But to do that, we have to keep, like maintain our emotional health, which in turn helps us to assist in maintaining and clearing our mental health in a way. Does that make sense? And the two kind of work together to further us in this journey of, I don't know, maybe completeness is the word that I'm looking for, where we're feeling more, because all of these nines too, we're seeing, we've seen the number nine on the nine of wands and then the nine of cups three times this week. That's a quite a bit of nine energy and nines are about personal completions coming to an end or an understanding of a situation so that we can now move on. And certainly with the Nine of Wands underpinning all of this, we can take that information with us um, in a positive way, even if the experience or the information was gained through a, a negative um, incident or you know something that challenged us. All right, let's go to the Shamanic Medicine um, card. Ah, it's Trickster. We've seen him before this, I don't know if it was this week, but we have seen him before, and it's Challenge. I still don't think, did we have him together? No, we had them together on Monday. It was Nine of Cups and Trickster. Interesting. Let me read Trickster to you. It is time to recognize a great imbalance in the way you live, which can no longer be sustained. Your barriers need to come down, and you must relinquish control. Trickster leads you to an unfamiliar world. Embrace it. Change your perspective, some of which stems from your upbringing and others' expectations and opinions. Forget what you deem is right or wrong. The apart as right or wrong, sorry. The apparent chaos around you is some of your greatest teachings and experiences, if you choose to see it as such. How else can you grow and evolve? Whoever or whatever pushes your buttons is merely a reflection of what you need to release. Be assured that once the lesson is realized, it will... It will affect you no more. It will never present itself again. So let Trickster lead you on an unpredictable and merry dance. Be light of heart. Ask questions that no one else would dare, would, uh, would dare to and see the humor within each situation until you recognize the path you walk is never certain. You will have fun along the way with the medicine of Trickster as your companion. Trickster reveal. The Trickster takes many forms, male or female, god or goddess, spirit or animal. They are, are all wise and skillful in self-willed behaviors. The trickster pushes people's boundaries to test whether they run or stay the course. We learn from the unexpected experiences and teachings the trickster brings. Sadly, this purpose and meaning has been lost in modern times where the trickster is often depicted as a fool, clown, or comic. Other divinatory meanings. Move out of your comfort zone and embrace new challenges. Stop procrastinating for your purpose awaits. Release control, judgment, and expectation. A surprise direction is a great blessing. An opportunity disguised in a situation is just what you've been waiting for. Trickster speaks, upside down and inside out. Tis what my medicine's all about. Chaos and change I bring with me in order to, in order that you truly see. Now, I know that this says challenge, right? I think we're ready to face this challenge. These cards to me, it almost looks like she's offering that rose to him and he's dancing. Like there should be the wholeness that comes with the Nine of Cups, right? The emotional well-being that it should represent to me feels like no matter what the challenge is today, we can interact with it in a way that is 
um, not you know operating from an at a loss or frustration. Does that make sense? It's more about like letting life lessons, even if they're petty or uh, annoying, come in and amuse us almost in a way, rather than shake us to our core. Like I would say this, both of these cards say to me, do not take anything that comes up today too seriously. <laughs> Like, she looks like she's laughing, he's laughing, she's even offering him a rose, right? Like, working with him, here's the grounding stone. Very interesting, the word is enjoy. So, like, when we're grounding in this, and obsidian wards off negativity, right? It's a bl jet black stone, a very strong um, grounding stone, right? Focusing on our enjoyment of the situation, no matter what's going on, focusing on the aspect of it's teaching us or learning us or evolving us in a way. Remember, we have that nine of wands underneath this with the nine of cups. So spiritually and emotionally, we're going to be completing cycles with something that might be challenging, but we need to find that like um, openness through enjoyment of the lesson or the challenge um, rather than resisting it or fighting against it. We've got this essentially is how I'm feeling. Right, and we—I I, want to say my feeling is—is is we know we've got this. So even though there might be shit going sideways around us, or or people, you know, behaving badly or not in the way we would like, we don't necessarily have to get frustrated, upset, or angry about it. We can look at this like, oh, hey, trickster, you know, fine, dance around me in that way. I'm just gonna sort of laugh this one off and enjoy. The last time we saw these two cards, remember, was the. Um, the grounded stone for that day was relax. So again, relaxing in these sort of situations and in that enjoy, finding enjoyment of them as best we can is going to assist us in moving through them and transforming them so that they no longer have hold power over us. That is your forecast, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave me a question or comment, especially if you're new and let me know your, if the videos are you know resonating with you. And uh, share the video out, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.